what is up youtube i hope everybody's having a wonderful christmas this year i know that this year hasn't been the best but i you know i hope everybody's out there enjoying family time season of giving you know you know hope everybody got what they wanted for christmas being able to cherish the moments with loved ones and friends and you know eating up all the good food <laughs> but today i want to talk to you guys about wonder woman 84. man <laughs> I just finished watching this movie and let me tell you, um, I want to go ahead and give you guys my non-spoiler review. I'm not going to spoil this movie for anyone because I know a lot of people haven't seen it yet. And I want to give everybody a chance to watch it. And also I got a, you know, special guest here, of course, we have here is Wonder Woman herself. As you can tell, she's also joined the video. So. Let me go ahead and tell you guys my opinions and thoughts on Wonder Woman 84. Um, so what can I think about that movie? You know, let me tell you this. This is a movie that has been pushed back so many times to where I guess a lot of people haven't really had that much expectation. But at the same time, people were still looking forward to seeing this movie. One is because Wonder Woman was a set. Her first movie was so successful that before Justice well, actually after Justice League, right after that little pivotal mark, before Aquaman made a billion dollars at the box office, Wonder Woman was considered a success on DC movies for the DCEU. And so, you know, for those who haven't seen Wonder Woman, well, I'm pretty sure a lot of folks have seen Wonder Woman. I'm not even going to say that. I hope everyone has seen that movie because it's been, what, three years? So I'm pretty sure a lot of folks were, you know, thinking that, oh man, Wonder Woman was so good. I think the sequel is going to be a lot better. There was a lot of things in that movie that um, they weren't terrible. I'm not going to say the movie was terrible. To me, in my opinion, the movie was good. It was good. Um, it was more colorful than the first one. I, the second one was more focused on Diana's... Uh, pretty much able to focus on Diana's transition to becoming who she is now because i know in the first movie it was all about her trying to do what's right she didn't really know much about the outside world outside of themascara and so with her doing what she did in the first movie and now that she has embraced who she is in as wonder woman um she is now able to do more good although she hasn't made herself noticed and so because of you know, for those who've seen B Batman vs Superman and Just League, it was said that no one knew anything about Wonder Woman, don't didn't know about where she came from. Don't they really don't they haven't really explored that much on her backstory. So with Wonder Woman and Wonder Woman eighty four, this is mostly where we see Wonder Woman before the events of Man of Steel, BBS, and Justice League. So there were a lot of characters in that movie that I could pinpoint because of course I'm a DC fan. Also, the you know the setting, like of course the time plays, but also the locations that they named in the movie. I recognize. I'm like, oh, that this is so and so, so and so's place, and you know vice versa. But I feel like this movie was trying to send a message. I know um, for the the director of the movie was Patty Jenkins. Um, I know that her initial goal was for this movie to be released in the summer, but due to the events of 2020. The movie had been pushed back to October and then it was also being pushed back to December. And, you know, it wasn't the initial plan because I know with with what Wonder Woman, the first one did back in 2017 in June, it did so much success. And I see why, because movies being uh, released in the summer is a big step than releasing a movie like around this time period, because, you know, a lot of people ain't looking forward to watching movies like that. They are more into watching Christmas movies or Thanksgiving movies around the time. So having a movie like that be released around this time frame, you know, a lot of people weren't going to see it. There are also um, uh, videos talking about how Wonder Woman did not do so well in the box office, yada, yada, woo -woo and all of that. But you got to understand, you know, a lot of people, don't, at first, they don't want to go see the movie in theaters. And then, of course, you got those who uh, don't have HBO Max. So they're not going to really want to, you know, pay for a subscription, just see a movie. And then, you know, they don't want to, you know, utilize all the other movies on there. But again, this movie, Wonder Woman is one of the, is a very popular and well-known character. She is so well-known that the idea of her 
stands out and represents how a lot of women, you know, view themselves. They view themselves as independent, powerful. And, I, you know, I, I respect that. I, I totally respect that. I really do. And, you know, it was also a character that came back because, you know, I've been seeing trailers about it, about this particular character that came back. And it was like, oh, I had so many questions like, where did he come from? How did he get here? But of course, if you watch the movie, you'll see what happened. And also the main villain, they were also, they were, the villain's motives were, the villain's motive was also trying to teach you a lesson. It's almost as if like they had to do a little bit of rewrite and add in, you know, a couple of things in there for them to talk about. Okay, so this here. I want to go ahead and give a message out to this verse, you know, in this movie, because I know I want this movie to stand out to where it'll send out a message to the audience and say, you know what? I want you to understand why I put this in this movie. But so far, in my opinion alone, I feel that this movie did a good job. Again, Wonder Woman is a popular character. And given that her first movie did successful, I, I also think that this one did good, too. Um, if I were to rank either or, I would still say the the first one to me was better, but again, that's just my opinion. But in in my next video, I want to be able to, you know, talk about all the things that I saw in the movie where it was characters, places, uh, where they're going to go next with this movie. And, you know, there was even talks that, you know, it's, it's possible that we may get a third Wonder Woman movie down the road we don't know yet for sure gal gadot who played wonder woman is looking forward to doing it if it happens and patty hasn't really made any word about it i hope i want them to make a trilogy out of this one you know because i feel like wonder woman is one of those characters they really haven't explored that much of but again it's one of those characters that a lot of people already know so it's really not much to explore but you also got different versions of her so it's like you want to be able to have someone like her an ideal character like herself to be on the big screens because you know a lot of people don't read comics even though people know who wonder woman is a lot of people don't know is you know like her background how she became wonder woman you know her or pretty much her origin story you know so i you know i again i want to be i want everybody to take the time to you know get it you know watch it it's on hbo max if you have the account it's free you can watch it if you choose to want to go see in the movies that's also fine as well and um, I also want to. Oh, there was one. There was a scene on that movie that, <laughs> given that the movie takes place in 1984, that I saw this one scene, this one particular scene. I really had to ask my uh, my mom. But I said, "Mom, did, did they really wear something like that back in 1984?" <laughs> I'm like, I don't remember them. I feel like that was something that was brought up in like the 2000 era. But you know, that's just one of those little scenes. But overall. To me, the movie was more about sending a message, pretty much. That's the that's the thing I was seeing from the beginning to the end. Is basically, um, it was all it was trying to teach you something that you know a lot of us tend to this a lot of us tend to make this particular mistake. We we all you know, it's trying to show us that it's not it's not the grass is not always greener. It's not always clear skies blue skies it's not always perfect but it's also trying to tell you that what happens it happens we accept it we move on but as long as we know that it happened that we choose how you we want to move forward it's all about you know you choose this route but during this route do you want to continue making the same continue doing the same thing repetition or do you want to make a change and do something totally different so that's what i got from this video i mean not not video that's what i got from this movie <laughs> that's what i got from this movie and again like i said in my previous video i want to see where they're going to go with all these characters i'm really want i hope that in the third wonder woman movie that it's actually going to take place in the current timeline not yeah timeline meaning that this movie the third one could take place either after the second Justice League movie or it could even take place after the first Justice League movie. However they do it, I want them to at least do it to where it, all of this doesn't do, like take place before the events of Man of Steel where we go straight into this world bend, building. I want them to at least do a third movie where it takes place in this particular setting, like how Aquaman's movie took place after Justice League. Like I want them to do something like that for the third movie. But again... um, 
I don't feel like this movie fell short on anything. I know that they, like, again, like, the first one was all about Wonder Woman's place in the world, whereas in the second one, it's how she was able to adjust into this world. So, um, again, I want everyone to take the time to go see this movie. And, you know, let me know in the thought com in the comment section, you know, what do you guys think of this movie? Did you guys think it was a good movie? Did you guys think it was a terrible movie? Like, just let me know what you guys, what your opinion was on it. And again, in, in the next video, I will do a spoiler move, uh, video where I will tell you everything that was in there. Even some of the things that maybe some of y'all may have missed that I was able to catch on. Also, where I see where this movie can go next. So just leave a like, comment, subscribe. And I want everyone to continue having a great Christmas. Stay safe, eat well, sleep good, and have a wonderful time.